Most people know what to expect and do when the National Weather Service issues severe weather watches and warnings. When a hurricane warning is issued, they know it is time to finish preparations and evacuate. Since hurricane force winds are expected in the next 36 hours, making outdoor activity unsafe. But not everyone knows what to do when a storm surge watch or warning is issued or just how life-threatening storm surge can be. I'm Jamie Rome, Deputy Director with the National Hurricane Center. Did you know that storm surge is often the deadliest and most hazardous part of a hurricane? And while our ability to forecast and warn on this hazard has dramatically improved over the years, we're now working on public awareness with our partnership with Dare County. Now, new technology and interactive displays on the Outer Banks are aiming to change that. Over the past 10 years, storm surge forecasting has really changed at the Hurricane Center. They started to use depth above ground. And as we started to see those products come out, we started to see people going, what's that actually mean? And then we had some storms that impacted us here on Bay Drive, Tropical Storm Michael, where we saw rapidly rising water levels that were forecast to be two to four feet above ground. And we had a lot of people get impacted by it. Their cars got flooded, their homes got water into them. They felt like they weren't informed about how deep it was going to get and led us to think that we needed to help people understand what those forecast products mean and really how deep it might be. As Director of Emergency Management for Dare County, Drew Pearson began to develop a new kind of display, one that could easily be understood by every passerby. We wanted to make people aware how deep it might get by putting this pole out in three-foot increments, but we also put an interpretive display out that explains not just the pole, but the products that are put out by the Hurricane Center. So we're hopeful that people can come out, take a look at the displays, take a look at how deep it might get, and then go back home and realize when they say there's gonna be one to three feet of storm surge in their community, it's gonna get up to here. Each color on the 12 foot pole represents three feet of water above ground. The eye catching colors are the same ones used by the National Hurricane Center on their inundation maps. I'm truly hopeful that every resident, visitor, and person who comes to the Outer Banks who sees one will know what they need to do when the storm surge forecast is issued to protect their lives and property. Our mission will be complete if we don't have cars inundated with water, if we don't have people stuck in their homes as rapidly rising water comes around their home and comes up into their living spaces. And I'll call a mission complete if we have people saying, I saw that display, I knew what I needed to do when the forecast came out. The storm surge poles have been placed at 27 locations around the Outer Banks including town halls, beach accesses, the ferry terminal, and sound access points. Across the country, there's been various efforts to really try to demonstrate water level, especially when it comes to storm surge. We have a new partnership with Dare County. We are so excited. We are actually going to get a storm surge pole that we could use to demonstrate both on media interviews, tours, to actually show those water levels. While understanding storm surge is important, actually knowing when water levels are changing is just as critical. To improve water level monitoring and alerting, Dare County has installed 12 new flood gauges. The gauges will become part of North Carolina's emergency management statewide effort to support risk-based decisions regarding flooding using the Flood Inundation Mapping and Alerting Network also known as FIMA. These flood inundation mapping alerting network system gauges that we're having installed, there's a box that's installed on the side up here and it's got a sensor that comes out. In that sensor, it sends a signal down to the water and it comes back up. And as the water level changes, the signal distance changes and it tells us whether it's going up or down. Anyone can view water levels and sign up for alerts from local FIMA gauges at FIMA.nc.gov. In addition to use by the general public, the National Weather Service uses gauge information to refine their forecast and warning products. Dare County's new gauges are adding tools to our toolbox that can help us with rising ocean and sound side water level rises. We're so excited about the new real-time water level information that's available. Having it will help us improve our forecast products, which will help us carry out our mission of protecting life and property. With better ways to measure floodwaters and increased awareness of what surging waters can do, hopefully Outer Banks locals and visitors will now know what to do in the event of a storm surge warning.